Hello, this is Bear from Better Wave. How's it going? Here's a video on the S&P. So I haven't brought the S&P in the channel for a while. So today we're going to look at what's happening, what could be happening, and what we could expect next, as always. So here's a four-hour chart. On the bigger picture, what we're looking at, we know we've been seeing downside for the past weeks, actually since the start of the month. The thing is, as of right now, especially for the S&P and the Dow, for the NASDAQ, it's a bit different. You could argue on the NASDAQ, we could have a significant top in place, but perhaps we're gonna leave this for another video. Let me know in the comments if you would also like to see a NASDAQ video. So for the S&P and for the Dow, we can see a way for a primary four in the making, possibly near completion, but yet not a significant top in place as of yet. So with account I'm presenting you today, we have a wave one and two completed uh, with the October 30th low. And then a wave three that lasted from October of 2020 up until November of this year. So the very sorry last year um maybe in the past i guess so the very interesting thing about this is time so if you think about how much time has passed from october to november it's the the answer of course you could say well a bit more than a year a bit more than a year could translate to 13 months and uh, 13 as as we know is a fibonacci number and Fibonacci number are well respected in the market. We know it and this is the proof. So addition to that, if we look at this intermediate one, two, three, four, five, so how the weight primary three decomposes, um, we can take the parallel channel from two to four, connect it to one, drag it here, and we see how we have a perfect top in place. So that could have been predicted using the LOA channeling technique. The question is, does the channeling technique going to, is it going to predict also the end of wave four of primary degree? Well, I showed you the count now. We're gonna just focus on the correction into wave four and see what's what's happening and how the correction could unfold out and how it is unfolding. So. We're going to the hourly for this. So let's just do it together. My best guess, my best count, this looks like a three wave move now. We'll, we'll have two different scenarios where we have a potential ABC, so a flat, an expanded flat, or else we could be having um, a complex correction. So let's just name this flat. So if this is a flat, here we have a clear, this is A, B, and C for, waves, for wave B of my degree, I guess. I guess you could also, could you place wave? Yes, I guess you could see this is three wave. So you can have a B wave as there, but I, I don't want it have, have it here actually. So A, B, C. Now the big question is, what does this look like? Well, you could argue this is wave. Uh, it looks like three wave move. So it's either, it either has to be a three wave move or a diagonal because we have overlapping structure so I guess you could label it like the thing is with this count this cannot be a wave C because we have three wave instead of five so either this is a complex or as I said you could label this as wave one two three four and five I guess for a leading diagonal but then again if you think about it, that would not make sense because a leading diagonal 
is a five wave structure and wave B could not go past the starting point wave A. So we cannot have a flat if wave A is in five ways. Therefore, this has to have a sideways structure of a three wave move. So my best guess is a double XY. So I'm just going to label it double XY. See? And this is a question. So if this is wave C, we're going to have wave one, two, three, nearly completed, potentially a bounce back again, and then up for wave. So this could be a count. This would be the flat alternate. Interesting thing about this, let's see how wave three is. So we almost reached 1.618, 1 which is quite interesting. So potentially with Monday session, we could have a bounce and then fall back to then resume to the upside to hold the my for the one last move to the upside. So that would be my best guess for what's going to happen. If we look at this, looks like we have one, two, it's quite complicated. Looks like a one, two, three, four, and five. So it will make sense for wave um, minor of three to be nearly completed, I guess. But uh, if this is not the case, so if we do not have a flat, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this and bring the possibility of a complex correction. This is so wave A, wave W, X will look just like wave A and B. The only difference would be in wave W, sorry, in wave Y, and there would be an A, B, and C. So if we do have a complex, which is possible, but I'm not discounting the possibility of having a, just a flat. So the interesting thing is that if we do have a complex, then we may be near a bottom. Now, how do we know which one do we have? So let me just name it this complex. So if we do break this low to the upside, so if we overlap, then we know that this cannot be one, two, three, four, and five. So the only no, we, the only way we know this could just be a complex is if we break north of 4583. That's the only way. Now we need to bear in mind that I'm going to take you back to the to the daily. There is a possibility that we have a top in place. So we need to keep that in mind, as I said. So just look for evidence that the move down is finished. And uh, that evidence will be a five wave move to the upside and a subsequent three wave move pullback. At that point, we may have some sort of evidence that the move is finished. And therefore, we can start to see and look for a trade. So that was it for me today. Um, let me know if you also would like to see the bear count. Let me know if you have anything to add to this count as well. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.